do you do that? You don't care about God, and you don't care about the word, and you don't care about leadership. First John. Jesus Christ is God's son. With God, how many devils and woodlocks and witches and said he's God's son. And it reads, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our own eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled the word of life. Fifth verse. This then is the message which we have heard of him. And declared unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ his son has cleansed us from all sin. Oh, Heavenly Father in Jesus. God, I need you to do this. I need you to use me like you ain't never used me before. Because this world in 2024, from the world and the church, they are walking over your word. And they are doing how they want to do whatever they want to do. From the poor pit to the dough. From him to across the world. Everybody think you can, they can do what they want to do. When your Bible was the first book ever wrote. God, I'm asking you to create a new atmosphere in him. Get rid of every spirit, every devil, every woodlock. Every liar, every homemonger, every smoker, every drinker, get them out of this church. God, we forever give the praise. We give the thanks. In your son Jesus' name we pray. And every heart can say amen. Amen. And you can have your seat. You don't need your Bible this morning. If you want to find the scripture, go back and look them up. I had a, a road design and I didn't get it, uh, get it, whatever I need to do because the lady couldn't do it. But you know, God always got a plan because I didn't know God had something else, but he God, I, I don't know. I mean, I ain't never had a problem before. But God took me to some, took me back to this. You know, a lot of people think everything I got on my robe is just something that I do. So I'm going to prove to y'all who I am that y'all put y'all mouth on. Can I prove that to y'all? It said 9-11. 911 means that was a mercy that I go to pastorship. So y'all, y'all hold it down a little bit because I want, I want everybody to hear this. I don't need y'all coming when you ain't respecting who I was before you come in it. Sitting at my house, married, and God told me to go put Terry, Pastor Terry Simmons on, a, on his Bible. 9101, which is September the 1st, 01. Ten days later was 911. Ain't that something? So God told me to start putting 911 on my road. So I said, hmm. So the message God got me told me it was a mercy that I preached this today. But he also said it was a mercy that I go to pastorship. This is what I'm telling y'all now. I didn't call myself the pastor. I was sitting on the side of my bed. I called my wife, witness. I called my wife and said, 
Do you know God told me to go put Pastor Terry some in my Bible? She said, what's the problem? That would have helped me do. She said, what's the problem? She encouraged me. I went right and put it on there. This Bible, 9011, it's the Bible that I had. It means something to me. But he told me it was a mercy that you go to Pastor's Hill. Why? I was still in somebody else's church, a minister. Right. And I'm walking around with a Bible with Pastor Terry Simmons on. I was a minister. So who called me? All right. For all y'all got there, I want to say I ain't preaching right, I ain't talking right. Who called me? Find another preacher can tell you when God spoke to him while he was still a minister. I didn't have a desire to be a preacher. But all y'all rebel up against me and all my hurt come from everybody that came up under me, that left him, that got knowledge from me, that not only even talk about me, and that y'all do the same thing. All my hurt come from y'all because y'all really don't know who I am. 9101. And that's why God told me it's a 9-1 emergency for truth. And don't nobody have the heart to do it. I heard a preacher say this morning that everybody got a problem with me preaching against gays. One, one thing they got a problem with me preaching. I got a problem because they don't preach about it. What y'all think about that? Come on, son. Amen. Huh? They got a problem with me because I preach about it, but they won't preach about it. And then most of the preachers that y'all have, because of who y'all is, y'all don't know who y'all is. See, it's a difference in being an imitator of Christ and a spectator. A lot of y'all in here spectator, y'all not imitator. He said, let that man be in you. He said, let me order your step. That means I need you to imitate who I am. Now, we was to be honest, most of y'all ain't imitating him. Know how I can prove it? Because most of y'all will do what a natural man said, but a spiritual man, y'all won't do it. Y'all obey a natural man, but you won't even do what a spiritual man tell you. Everybody got their own mind. And then nobody want to talk about sin. But sin will finesse you before it sacrifice you. Sin will make you feel so good, it'll finesse you and just make you feel so good that you'll go out to sin but it'll, before he sacrifice you. He's going to sacrifice you because sin is against God. He's against God and we don't see it. False living, or uh, false line. We do so much false stuff against God and swear we with God. Like this morning, I seen all y'all. I had to come back out here. I said, let me go see the show. Because I knew a lot of y'all is false and what y'all were doing was false. But I wanted to see it because I knew what God was telling me to preach. See, a believer must speak the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. But a lot of y'all don't speak the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Know why? Because you don't even speak it to yourself. Before I'm speaking to anybody, else, I'll make sure I'm right. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. And everybody want to come down and howl. But Psalm 127 and 1 said, except the Lord build a house. Well, who told me to do this? Who told me to put this 9101 to go put Pastor Terry Simmons on, on the Bible that I'm still a minister in the church. I wouldn't even say ever. Yeah. Y'all talk to me. And all y'all been putting y'all mouth on it. Y'all knew this, but y'all forget it. Uh-huh. It came down from the conduit. Yes, so if I were lying, I could have put Terry Simmons on and never came a pastor. Right. Amen. But I don't surpass this. Yes, y'all ain't got to say nothing. I come, to, I come to talk to y'all today. I come to talk to y'all because the house is coming because of how y'all feel and want how y'all want to live. Y'all want to come up against God's word. Y'all want to come up against God's authority. It don't matter what God tell y'all, y'all want to do it y'all self and then y'all want to look in my face like y'all right. Y'all want to look on my face like y'all love God. I told them on the corner the other day, y'all going to stop handling me like I'm a sister or a punk. Yes, because I don't say nothing half the time y'all try to act like I'm, I'm you know, buckethead. 
to God and angry at sin. How y'all feel about it? To sin and finesse you before it sacrifice you. Sin been finessing y'all. And on snine, he ready to sacrifice y'all. Because see, y'all are spectators in church, not an imitator. Y'all can't walk the way God wants you to do. You can't talk the way God told you to do. All y'all want to do is dress up, fix your hair, and come to church like you coming, like you like in other words, like you're church here. Don't care nothing about God. He's talking to us because I got a word to give y'all today. Whether you want to hear it or not, I got it. So a believer must speak the truth. How can you speak the truth and say you're a believer when he say you must be born again? It's a must. Maybe I need to explain to y'all what must is because, you know, y'all get confused. Must by obligation. How many of y'all must be born again? How many of y'all is believe is, is born again? He said, something that should not be overlooked. Yeah. Yeah. I already know most of y'all already got the you already got to start, you already got to start kind of get fess yourself to get born again right now because most of y'all have overlooked being born again. In him this morning. Mm-hmm. But it says, set the Lord build a house. And the problem why y'all don't think God build a house, because y'all don't want to do what it says. It said, they label in vain that building. I ain't labeling in vain. Y'all ain't make me think I'm labeling in vain. He said, except the Lord keep the city, the watchman watch, but in vain. I ain't watching in vain. He said, but must. He said, be commanded or request to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God told y'all you must be born again. If y'all were to be honest, y'all know y'all ain't born again. Know how I know you ain't born again? You wouldn't get mad with me for when I say something. You wouldn't get mad with me when I talk to different people and then you hear what I said. You should have had enough belief to know who I was to know that I ain't said nothing crazy. That's why I was telling y'all about that office, that room in there. So many times y'all tell me, What's going in the corner? What's going in this? What's going in the room? And y'all make it look like we're going to sit in there and let Rome go on in the room. That means y'all not a believer. That means y'all don't believe what God's word said. Y'all don't believe who I am. He said, being urged to. He was telling you you must be born again. But a believer must tell the truth. So that's why a lot of y'all didn't tell the truth. You can't even tell the truth to yourself. He said, er to, all by all mean to. Well, how do y'all get around certain people that y'all say y'all love that ain't saying and you don't say nothing? You can't say nothing because you ain't a believer. You can't say nothing. You're a false believer. You can't say nothing. He's telling us this. He said, be er to. All by all mean to. He said, be the man the two. He said, God has to man enough that we tell the truth. Amen. And we got a church here that got truth that ain't telling the truth. I ain't telling nobody. Because y'all living a lie. He said, except the Lord build a house. And God been building, y'all just been trying to tear it down. I told him one of the baddest things to do is a church. And then what y'all are trying to do at our church? A lot of y'all are trying to be termite in a building what you can't be seen. Right now, if, a, if termite was eating on this building, we wouldn't tell until the foundation falls. A lot of y'all in here is termite, and y'all eating and going around people telling them you go here, but you really making the foundation bad. Want well, to go talk to somebody about me? How you going to do that? Talk about yourself. You the one ain't saved. Amen. This is what it says. It said, God angry at sin. I am too. He's talking to us. Then he said, a must is something that is that so important it can't be missed or ignored. 
I want y'all to stay just where y'all at, choir. This is what my message is today. I couldn't wait to tell y'all. This church is built on the truth of God, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So all y'all liars in here, all y'all false believers in here, all your false prayers, all your false preachers, all your false churches, we is established on the truth. Don't, don't care what they said, don't care what they said, don't care how you feel. Listen how God said it. He said, this church, this church, cornerstone, not, not all the churches. And let me tell you something else I want y'all to stop doing. I want a lot of y'all to stop standing up when you ain't standing up in the spirit, but you stand up trying to watch everybody else. Start sitting your tail down and pay attention. That's the problem with us. We got, we up trying to spy on everybody. Stop spying on everybody. That's what somebody had you doing before. Don't do it. Don't do it. Sit your tail down. If the spirit ain't moving, sit your tail down and listen to the word and stop watching around the church. You might get delivered. Amen. Told y'all that I'm so I'm so upset with all my hurt came from either y'all in here or the one that don't live. But I need thee. I don't go around acting like I don't need him. This is how God talked to us. He said in 1 John 5, 6 and 8, pay attention, pay attention, because a lot of y'all is sleep still. Even though you look like you woke, ain't no way you're going to be woke. Hear what God said, and then you still go do what you want to. You had to be asleep when we were talking about it. When we tell y'all how to be concerned about your children, and then y'all still go do sin, and then Mess your house up, and then y'all want to come here like y'all are knowing it. But listen to what this said. Let's just see what this said. It said in 1 John 5, 6 and 8, it said, This is he that came by water and blood. Even Jesus Christ, it said, not by water only, but by water and blood. He said, it came by both of them. Yeah. So if your God didn't come by water and blood, he ain't it. So that's one way you can't say it with God because God can't bleed. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't make God somebody that can bleed. He can't bleed. So who was Jesus that bled? He couldn't have been God. Hmm, y'all ain't got to say nothing. I studied this one. He said, look at how he said it. He said, he said, he said, it is the spirit that bear witness. Because the spirit is true. That's why y'all can't bear witness of me because y'all ain't got a spirit. That's why y'all sit and question when I tell you this is the way you need to go and you go the opposite way. This is what you need to do, but you go the opposite way. But this church is built on the truth of God. Not built on your fantasy. Not built on what you think. Not built on what you want to be. Because God ain't called you to do nothing but come here and get delivered. This is what they say he's talking to. And the, and the problem with so many people, they, they want to correct our church. But see, in all these other churches, they ain't trying to get people to live to make it a heaven. They're trying to get them to stay in the church to get tithes and offers. I'm preaching for the living. I'm preaching that my members will know that they're going up yonder. This is what they say. He's talking to them. This is what they say. He said, he said, it is the spirit that bears witness. Because the spirit is true. For there are three that bear record in heaven. Now I want to ask you, so many people believe in the Bible, and since what the first book wrote, how do we question what the Bible says? What part do we question? And how y'all put that the white man wrote the Bible when it was the first one wrote? Y'all said when the white man and over there where he was. So how the white man wrote it? Called 1432. What man was over there then? Who wrote it? So if it was 1432, it had to be us that we said us. Okay, then y'all, I see y'all already. But listen to what I said. I'm explaining it to y'all because this church is built on the truth of God. The whole truth, nothing but the truth. We ain't got no lies. This is what it said. He said, but these 
are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. So you know how intelligent God is because he didn't put God, Jesus. He didn't put God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. He put God in the Word because he knew y'all were going to reject it. So he allowed y'all to reject, reject his word when you were rejecting his son. How can you prove that, apostle? How can you prove that? This church is built on the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. How can you, how can you, how can you explain this, Pastor Simmer? John 1 and 2, since you asked. In the beginning, what's the word? And the word was with God. Hmm? Do y'all hear that? In the beginning, what's the word? And the word was with God, and the word was God. So when you reject the word, you reject who you say you look after. Huh? He told you, he said, the God, the word, and the Holy Ghost. So he come back in John 1 in the New Testament and say, in the beginning was the word. So that means when he said, let there be light, it wasn't light, but he spoke light because he spoke the word. And there's still light because the word still exists. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't got to say that, and I'm the one I learned. But don't forget, he told me to go pastor 9101. Y'all tell me how many preachers y'all can ask. Tell them to give y'all a date. All the people y'all look up to that preach, ask them, can they give y'all a date? September the 1st, 01. Ten days later was 911, and he told me it's a mercy that I go to preach to the pastor. Mr. Kid, I tell you what's good about it. He put me at pastor, I didn't even have a church. You know why? Because I'm the church. I ain't need a church. For all y'all discrediting me, all y'all got the little stuff you're saying about me, God gonna get y'all. God gonna get y'all for rejecting truth. He gonna get y'all. All y'all don't got bothered me from what I don't told you. When I tell you, when I correct y'all, God gonna get y'all because y'all disrespect who His church. Except the Lord, He built this one. He knew what the funny. He knew what He was gonna put in it before you even got in. I know. I see some of y'all looking. Dog, I shouldn't have said nothing about a pastor. I know you shouldn't have too. This is what it said. And I, 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 I'm telling you, I wanted to, Sean to testify. Then I want to wear that robe. I was trying to get it did in the kind of way I can. And he called back to the lady that do robe. And I said, can you, can you cut out some letters and write it on there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is what he said. In the beginning, what's the word? So that means he had to be in the beginning. And the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Now, I want to just ask y'all intelligent people just a question. All y'all that study the Bible. When God said, let us, who was he talking to? When he said, let us make man in our image. Who was there? Who was there? All y'all, all y'all, all y'all internet researchers. Tell me who was us. Google that, y'all. Y'all come back and get to me. Google that and find out who was us with him when he was creating. But this church, this church, I'm talking about this church, we ain't imitating. We trying to run the spectators away. This is what it said. He come back. He's he said, but there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, which I put a little thing there and said, Jesus. Y'all yeah. figure out what y'all put that quotation or comma or whatever y'all want to call it. Y'all call it what you want to. I just wrote Jesus. And then it said, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in the earth. The Spirit, which is the Holy Ghost, the water, uh -huh. hmm. 
What's the, what's the water? He said, you need a bath? So is the word. That's, that's Ephesians 5, 526, and they don't know. Just in case they don't think I know. See, that's why, he, that's why he called me to be who I am. For all y'all got question mark. For all y'all don't know who I am because you ain't got the spirit. Ain't I'm going to explain that well? Then he said, look here. He said, he said, in the water. He said, in the blood. And these three agree in one. Ain't that something? This is how he said it. And y'all think y'all going to get away. He said, for the wrath of God, that's Romans 1 and 18, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodly. Now, all the ungodly y'all doing, it's already revealed. All the stuff y'all think y'all doing here that don't nobody know. One thing Ella Thomas always tell me, God is not going to leave you in the dark. And do you know the stuff y'all do, y'all don't even wonder how I find out? I don't know. But I know God will control everybody. So God will have somebody tell on you that you didn't know that would tell. I'm going to preach to them whether y'all want me to or not. I'm a, I want the world to hear this. I want the world to hear this. I want the world to hear the little way he said. He said, the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodly. I want to know one thing. Everybody mad at me when I preach, but you ought to be mad with your preacher for not telling you that all ungodly, he's, he got a wrath against all ungodly and unrighteous of men who hold the truth and unrighteous. He said, now, I, I don't know why you're mad at me, but he told me it's a mercy that I tell the people. Because this house, it built on the truth. We got false churches. We got false preachers. We got false men and women of God. We got false believers. We got false prayer. All in the church. Isn't that bad? Just all in the church. Just rebellious. A bunch of rebellious folks. Then he tell us, he come back and say, look, not that you repent, but you are not godly sorrow. See, a lot of y'all say y'all be repenting coming up here, but you ain't really got it, sorry. You just heard the word and you thought I knew. God gonna get y'all. God gonna get all y'all in here that know the things that you should be doing, but you're doing it because you want to please you. Everything y'all doing is because I want to be pleased. You don't care what God, y'all don't care what God said. This is what he said. He come down and talk. He started talking to him because God wanted to know. Listen to how he said. And David said this. I love the way Ellis Simmons said this. He said, in Psalm 51, 6, he said, Behold, he said, Look, doubters are true in the inward part. Now, most of y'all ain't designed truth in the inner part because y'all don't got enough truth that you should be running over. So what part do y'all want from God? I know what part y'all want. Y'all just want him to keep you alive. Guess for what? For what? To do what you want to. It ain't for his thing. He's telling us this. He's telling us this. He said, behold, he said, thou desire truth in the inner part. And in the hidden part, thou shalt Make me to know wills. Well, we know the most y'all don't know that. This is what it said. It said truth is one thing, but it said false. Let me give y'all a false. Wrong, not genuine, neither true, nor right, ain't true. So if I were to look at your life, you false or true. Everybody here ain't born again. You ain't got the spirit of God. That's why you don't understand what I said. Y'all leave her acting like a liar. That's against the truth. A liar that you ain't know what I said. Y'all act like y'all a liar. Y'all ain't no liar. Y'all act like y'all a liar. And I'm telling you, it's just bad that this church must preach it. Look at that. Look at that. The truth, the whole truth, number the truth, nine one for two, and we know. Then you way you give Jesus a chance, you ain't gave him a chance yet. It's what it said. Listen how God talked to him. He come back in 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. He said, examine yourself. Yes, how many times y'all have heard that? I'm talking to Cornerstone. Y'all said something. How many times you heard that? 
Okay. What part you found out that was wrong when you did it? Now, when you examine yourself, when you find out we're wrong, what did you change? See, that was saying, y'all getting true, but y'all ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. This church ain't spectating. Y'all sitting here on the bench, but y'all going to hell. Y'all spectators. Y'all ain't trying to do what God said. He said, we know God promised God. No, I know you. You know God. You know me. We know God's word. We part you keep it. It's what he said. He come back in Hosea 4 and 1. He said, hear the word of the Lord. You children of Israel. You children of Cornerstone. You children of Pensacola. For the Lord has a controversy. I got a problem with the inheritance of the land because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of God in the land. Preachers and y'all is not trying to do what God's word said. And God said, you got to tell them, Terry. You got to make sure when they go to hell, they know they going. Ain't nobody put you in hell. All of the sins you make is because of what you want. You won't kill that nasty flesh. You exhausted. You know your flesh ain't no good. You know your flesh going to go against God. But still, it's what you want, though. It's what you want. He said, examine yourself whether you build a faith. Now, I want to ask y'all, examine yourself right now. The thing you did yesterday, the thing you've been doing all week, is it other faith? Who you talking to, is it other faith? Did God tell you to talk to them? Did God tell you to commune with these people you commune? And you know they ain't saved. Don't we submit? We know they ain't saved. Because of what we want to do, and you don't want to be right with God, you want to just be safe. But when you slide into heaven, you will not be safe. It's what he said. I want y'all to hear this today. Come on, I want y'all to hear this. I really want y'all to hear this. He said, examine yourself. Whether you be out of faith, prove your own self. Pops ain't got to prove you. Prove your own self. We can call people, send texts out. That's what my wife was telling y'all. Stop sending that lie y'all sending when you ain't doing none of it. Stop searching the internet. How do I answer that? She asked about love. Ooh. Let me sit her there. This is what he said. He said, examine yourself whether you be out of faith. Prove your own self. Know you not your own self how Jesus Christ is in you Itself, you be reprobated. The only way is itself. This is what God said. He's talking to us. He's trying to get us right. We don't want to hear. He come back in Hosea 4 and 6. He said, my people. That's what I said with God. My people in Cornerstone. It's the squad, not for the lack of knowledge. They rejected. All y'all in him that been him, don't left him, y'all going to have to answer. And y'all got to throw them in the bus and say, well, Pastor, you did all things right, but I repented. Yes, so what you're saying now? On, I ain't never got up here and told you I did everything right. On, right, right. But I like that when, when uh, Bishop Wooden said, everybody won't be mad at me because I preach about homosexuals. But I'm mad with y'all because you don't. Right. Let me tell you what else he said that was tough. He said, everybody want to create. I can give you all the words that deal with, with gays in the Bible. And 400 years after the Bible wrote, they came with a word homosexual. Had nothing to do with the Bible. They created a word. They created a word that they can feel all right about because everything else God said was nasty. It was nasty, but when God said, they went and found the word. Homosexual. What is that? You're a sister. You don't want, they don't want nobody to say nothing about sister. Well, it don't be it. I wrote down here too. You preach ain't nothing but a bunch of cows. Y'all preachers, apostles, whatever you call it, you ain't nothing but a bunch of cows. You won't tell the people the truth. 
You won't tell people. You won't tell people the truth. What you mean they won't tell people the truth? They try to act like they don't know who, who ain't going to heaven. Well, let me get you. You won't, you won't possibly get it. I'll tell you. You want me to tell him else? Y'all want me to tell you who ain't going to heaven? Hear it right here. First Corinthians 6, 9, and 10. Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom. Now y'all feeling, now just because y'all go to church don't mean you're righteous. So all y'all that's unrighteous, you already know. I ain't got to tell you, but I'm going to give you the scripture. First Corinthians 6, 9, and 10. Listen to what he said. He said, be not deceived. Mm-hmm. No fornicator. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. He said, no fornicator will make it easy. Now, you might enjoy yourself fornicating, but you ain't going to make it easy. You know, because y'all ain't going to fornicate in here. You can't put your bed down here and do nothing. You can't fornicate. You, no, you got to fornicate somewhere else, like at your house or either where you meet. This is what he said. He said, he said no fornicate. He said, no idolater. And they, these preachers trying to act like they don't know who's going. So if you phone the and you in the church, they ought to at least tell you that. But this house, y'all ain't got no excuse. This house is built on the truth. Say, oh, no, no. We are uh, imitating. No infeminate. Now that ain't no sister. That ain't no, that ain't no sister, nothing like that. That's, that's y'all that just act like y'all sister. This, this, this ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with it. It ain't got nothing. You ain't no sissy yet. You just, you just a lit. Hey, Cam. You just a lit. You just, a, you, your, 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 your body movement just ain't good. Any of y'all in here that you just, you, you, you just a lit. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you ain't gay. But you in. Mm hmm. No. Not abuser of themselves. With mankind. I mean, y'all, you know that, you know. That, in other words, that's a homosexual. That's a homosexual. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say what they want. That's a homosexual. I guess everybody gonna be mad with me. Still going to hell though. You can create a word all you want. This is what I say. He's talking to He said, he said, none abuser of themselves with mankind. Not the, not covenant, not drunken, not reviling, nor as such, shall inherit the kingdom of God. Now, don't preach that like they don't know that's in there. Y'all do too. This is what he said. He said, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, for they reject the knowledge. And I will reject thee that thou shalt not be no priest to me. Yeah. Seeing thou have forgot the law of thy God, I will also forget your children. Oh, so all y'all in here that doing your thing, God said, I'm going to forget your children. You over there just enjoying yourself and your children of God. By the Boy, y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. Look what he said. Look what he said. He come back in St. John 14 and 17. He said, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. So y'all in here and y'all can't receive me. I can't believe how many of y'all be mad with me for talking when you know I got y'all best issue. So, so did you learn that from somebody else to be bothered? Because you know, everybody asks this question. They be asking this question. Hey, you expose me, so let me let me play fair. When you say, "Well, who told you that? Who 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 made you come and ask that?" Yeah. Oh. Come on, son. Yeah. Uh -huh. So why are you asking that? Yeah. Come on, son. Let's go. You know why you asking that? Because when we sit in that room and people be talking, I said, "Well, you ought to go talk to them." So that means I told them. So when you hear somebody come talk to you, you want to find out the pastor tell you that. Well, you should have told him. Pastor told you. Yeah, I told you. So what you mad with? But see, that learned behavior. 
But if I, if I knew who my leader was, I wouldn't, I wouldn't play him like that. I told my wife, I told my wife the other day, I ain't got to question what you do. I told the man that I don't have to question what you do. She probably can get away with anything because I ain't, I ain't questioning her like that. Sin finesse you before it's a sacrifice you. This is what they said. He's talking to, he said, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. See, that's why the world can't receive me. You know, here, I, I don't understand it. I'm going to say it again. I just don't understand. Chick-fil-A got a good system. Cornerstone got a good system. Why don't nobody try to follow it? Because of y'all. Because of y'all. Y'all going telling stuff that you shouldn't be telling what's going to him should stay in him. Just like Canada. I mean, what is that? Uh, Las Vegas. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all tell them. You want to say, God, talk to them. You know, God just trying to tell us stuff that we don't understand. You know, the, the Caucasian lady, she brought money to the church again. And she got certain people that she getting money to. But this time she said, get ready, get ready, get ready. So that got to be, ain't nobody just going to get no, no black man no money now. And this is killer. Can I explain it to you? I ain't never met her. So who she getting money to? Who she getting money to? The one God told her to do this. This make her get money to it. And you know what she told me? She put on there. Let me just read it to y'all because I don't want y'all to miss it because we are the word church. She said, Matthew 9, 36, 37. She did the 37 verse, but I thought you needed the 36 verse. It said, but when he saw the multitude, he moved, he was moved with compassion on them. See, I'm moved with compassion to see all these people get food. I'm moved with compassion for y'all. I'm moved with compassion, he said, because they fainted. And were uh, uh, scared, shared of the brawl as sheep having no shepherd. That was my heart go out to Pensacola. I can't keep this just for us. But let me share some else with y'all. I've been wanting to tell y'all this for a while. Most people swear this all we get. They don't know we got Bible study, Friday night service, and Sunday school. Can I explain it to them, Joe? Most of them. It's too cheap to buy Sunday school book now. So when we buy Sunday school book, we got to teach what they put in the book, not what we think. Like this morning. So we, we get other teaching. We just, the preach word, because I read something that it said that you've been called to preach this. We've been called to preach this. It's a different than preaching and teaching. Let me finish what she said. As sheep having no shepherd. And most of the church around here is sheep without a shepherd. That's why they don't know who God is and what God is. And that's what I said. When you listen to the message, you ought to listen to the scripture and say, why my preacher ain't saying that? Why my preacher ain't telling me the ways of sin and death? Why my preacher ain't telling me that I must be born again? Why, why my preacher ain't telling me holiness is the only way? Why? This is what it said. He come back in 37 verse. This is what she gave him. She said, then shall he, then shall he unto his disciple. Then said he unto his disciple, the harvest is truly plentiful, but the labors are few. He said, I ain't got nobody. I believe you'll do it, Pastor. I, I, I believe you'll do it. So what I did, I need you. It's a mercy that you go to pastorship because you'll care about my lost sheep. And y'all don't understand. Y'all bothered about something y'all don't even have to be bothered with. This is what they say. He come back and say, he said, then said he unto the disciple, the harvest is truly plenty, but the labors are few. That's why I say it's a bunch of cowards. Preacher. He said, pray ye that for uh, the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth labor. Then to come back, he said, into his harvest. But I come back in Romans, I had to come back in Romans 10 because I've been telling you. It said, brother, my heart desire and prayer to God for Israel. That was Paul. But this is what Paul Simmons said. 
my heart desire for God, for Pensacola, for Cornerstone, for the surrounding area, for the world to be saved. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But y'all here don't want to be saved. Y'all want to keep going to church. Y'all don't want to be in have no close relationship with God. Well, while you in the shower, you ain't even got the same God talking to you. Why you driving the car, he talking to you? Y'all busy listening to the wrong thing or you got the wrong thing in your ear talking to you? God can't get in. Your, your phone busy. Y'all busy. Y'all too busy. Busy on the same yoke. You're too busy. I wouldn't even go to these church around here fooling me. Let me be gay and all that. Let me dig in the hand. Let me shack. Let me get pregnant. I ain't even with nobody still singing the choir. I wouldn't go to a church like that. This is what it says. Brother, my heart desire and prayer to God, huh? And for Pensacola, is that they might be saved. For I am, for I bear them record that they have a zeal to go to church, a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. He talking to us because God wants us to know. This is how the man said. That's why I said some of y'all ain't, ain't really believe. In Matthew 8 and 8, he said, it's a centurion answer and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof, but speak the truth only, and my servant shall be here. A lot of y'all ain't worthy to come under God's house, but he sent me to speak to you that you can be healed. You don't have a desire to be healed. Y'all gonna leave him wounded and sick today. Y'all ain't gonna y'all ain't gonna change. However, y'all ain't gonna repent because y'all wanna y'all wanna keep the image like y'all good. Y'all ain't good. I'm telling y'all, God told me y'all are not good. All this truth we've been getting, and y'all still call up with your family member. Well, this my this how my auntie feel. Well, this how my daddy feel. Your daddy going to hell. What you talking about? He'll go to hell too. This is what God said. He come back in 1 Corinthians 3 and 10 and, and, and 11. He said, according to the grace of God which is given unto me as a master builder. That's why he told me, Terry, you got to go. You're a master builder. He said, he said I have laid the foundation in another build on their own. He said, but let every man take heed, pay close attention how he building. Making all y'all think y'all going to heaven and you ain't building nothing. You ain't got a damn block up yet. God done gave you a foundation with the word and you ain't putting nothing on it. Some of y'all ain't got a damn block. And I'd be scared to die if I was some of y'all. I'd be scared to go to sleep. Y'all ain't even scared to go to sleep. You know why? You ain't studying God. You don't believe God. Some of y'all sitting here act like y'all be all in gut with the message. I already don't see your spirit. I see some of y'all spirit right now. You ready to get up out of him. This is what he said. He said, but let every man take heed. Y'all hear that? That's what the scripture said. Let every man take heed how he build their own. He said, but other foundation can no man lay that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. He said, there ain't nothing that can be laid. Y'all can try everything y'all want to do. Ain't nothing that can be laid. This is how he come back and say, in John 14, 23, he said, Jesus answered and said unto him, if a man love me, he will keep my word. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that don't sound good. Know why it don't sound good, y'all? It's another part. Now, I'm going to give y'all this part, and then y'all already question, answer the rest of it. He said, Jesus answered and said unto him, if a man love me, he will keep my word. And my father will love him. And we will come unto him and make our bow with him. He that loveth me not, keep it not my saying. If you love me, keep my commandments. So all the words y'all have heard in the last two or three months, what have y'all killed? Talk to me, please. Talk to me. Say something. It's my way or the highway. That's where y'all at. It's my way or the highway. Y'all don't care about no truth. Y'all don't care about what the Bible says. It's your way. And all y'all going to pay for it. I always come back. 
always come back. And y'all still, God don't told y'all, your flesh is like checking. And y'all don't care about it because you and Chucky is friends to the end. You know y'all know Chucky. Y'all ain't like y'all like y'all mad with Chucky. This is what he said. Sin finesse you before it sacrifices you. This is what he said. He said, that which was from the beginning, I told y'all the word, which we have heard, which we have seen with our own eyes, which we had looked upon, you know y'all look on the Bible, and our hand had handled the word of life. Y'all don't handle God. Just like they were beating him and crucifying him, y'all handle him the same way. Y'all beating and crucifying him. Every time you do wrong, you're crucifying him afresh. And I know y'all gonna act like y'all ain't did now. I know y'all ain't gonna act like y'all ain't gonna repent. I know how y'all is. I already know. I know y'all. This is what it said. Then we'll get y'all right here. It said, living in the light of God. Huh? Who living in the light of God? Who? Who living in the light of God? Who? Who? Many fly lights I don't bring in here, and y'all ain't seen the light of God yet? Because y'all in darkness, and y'all love darkness. He said, me and love darkness rather than light. They ain't glad Mac opened them shades of him. This is what he said in the fifth verse. Don't y'all be afraid to listen. He said, this den is the message, huh? This church is built on the truth. Well, let me just say that. This church is built on the light of God. Yes, sir. The whole light, nothing but the light. So let's go back here and look at this, what this said. Then this is the message which we have heard of him and declared unto you all, cornerstone, that God is light. Yes, yes, and in him is no darkness at all. So when you do what I tell you don't do by the word of God or what I'm helping you with, and you go on and do you, light or dark. So you ain't in God. And me and little dog. This is what it said. He said, and if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we don't do true. We lie. We lie. Now this is the killer. He said, and do not the truth. So that means you know it. But it said you do not the truth. You know it. Ain't that something? They don't do it. I'd rather have a man than God. I'd rather have a woman than God. I ain't studying that. He said, look, he said, if we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie. But this church is built on the truth. So how you stay in him? All in light. I'm ignoring it because I don't believe what you said and I don't believe who you is neither. I would ask y'all how many of y'all believe in me, but I ain't going to make y'all walk in darkness. I ain't going to make y'all lie. Because if you believe who I was, you'll be following me. So all y'all ain't following me, I know you ain't. Because look, when you, when you got a leader, dad and mama don't come for a leader if he's right. No, 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 no. That's not, we talking about a, 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 a real leader. We ain't talking about one of them that flew by night. This is what it said. Let me get there because I don't want y'all to miss it. He said, do not the truth. But I like the seven word so I can complete this. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. So now that tell me that all of us ain't got fellowship one with another. So there got to be one of us in dogs, somebody in dogs. Ain't no way me and my wife can get along with both one with dark and one with light. Amen. And we'll act like we together with our wife and so on and about. Thank you and dog, but you, you can see it. Here's what he said. Let me come on over here and deal with a little bit of this before I move on because I don't want y'all to miss this. It said in 1 Corinthians 1, in 17, he said, For Christ sent me not to baptize, 
but to preach the gospel. See, he sent up me to baptize, not to teach. He sent me to baptize, he sent me to preach. He wants me to preach his gospel. He, look what he said. He said, he said, preach of God, not with the wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made a non affair. He said, for apostle preaching of the cross to them that parents is fooling them. The stuff I've been preaching to y'all is fooling them. Come on, son. I mean, why I fooling them? Miss? They ain't doing it. He said, the day you hear my voice, how not your heart? He said, don't be a doer, but a, don't be a hearer only, but a doer. Okay? How many of y'all doing what I've been preaching to y'all? Ain't good to lie because all I'm going. It ain't good to lie. That's why I'd be, I'd be skeptical to put my hand up. I wouldn't do it. He said, he said, but unto us which is saved, it is the power of God. See, to us that are saved, it is the power of God. That's why this church is built on the truth of God, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And, and we ain't finessing nothing up in hell and seeing. This is what he said. He's telling them that. That's why these people are so weak in church, because they are scared to tell them that because they might leave. Leave. I don't care who leave out of here. Leave. Take the tie, stick it up in your butt, and run. Ties ain't keeping me from doing what God wants me to do. He told me in 90101 to put pastor on my Bible. He said, then I give you pastor out of my own heart. So you tell me how many pastors was out of his own heart when he, when he told me by the Spirit to do it. So how y'all question? So every time y'all see that 911, that's September. And 10 days later. How y'all gonna say that? What y'all say about that? What y'all say about that? That one God? I bet y'all can't. I, it's hard to find another preacher can tell you that. Ain't been to school for nothing. Ain't one one in school for nothing. But you know, I do have a I do have a, a BA now. I do have a BA. I'm born again. But I do all have a master in that thing that y'all like. I just don't talk about it because I, I don't have to I don't have to blow my horn like that. First thing I'm anointed to do this. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. It said, it said, for it is written, I would ascribe the wisdom of the wise, I would bring to nothing the understanding of the proof. Oh, smart joker. Everything you trying to find out wrong with God, oh proof nigga. Mm-hmm. God said, I'll bring that to no, oh smart joker. Everything I'm looking up, I'm trying to find fault with God. And then how I am, I just, 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 they like that all over the church. Mm-hmm, just a little smart joke. He said, where are the disputers of the, this world? Where are the disputers of Apostle Sim? Huh? He said, he said, he said, has not God made the foolish the wisdom of this world? Like calling me on September 1st, 01. That was fooling him. But look at me now. Don't, don't hold it. Don't even hold it to your charge. Come on, Pops. Come on. I'm going to get y'all out of here because I know y'all got to go. I know y'all been busy. Y'all, y'all don't really like what God's saying. This is what it said right here. All y'all false believers. Can I, can I expose y'all? A believer. Someone who has confidence in the truth. How many of y'all fall? How many of y'all fall believer? You say you are a believer, but you ain't got confidence in the truth. They're all over America. They're all in him. Fall believer. They can find something wrong with it, but I read some of the book and say, I believe. Can I mean it? A believer is someone who is sure that God exists and that their religion is true. Anybody can come in and tell y'all God ain't real. Let me give y'all this. Job 34 and 33. Should it be according to thy mind? Y'all hear Job was talking? He said, should it be according to thy mind? That was most of y'all living off y'all mind. But Job said, should it be according to your mind? Thy mind. He said, should it be according? He said, he will recompense it 
whether thou refuse or whether thou choose and not I. Therefore speak what thou knowest. Don't speak nothing you don't know. Mm-hmm. Got another time out. Where's apostle? Where they at? Where you at a seven day Adventist? You shouldn't be at no seven day Adventist talking about where's the apostle? You better learn something. You got to be careful putting your mouth on somebody. Did my bad. I'm just like a police. Hey, what are you, FBI? He a secret agent. Pastor Simmons, secret agent. All y'all didn't know I was a secret agent. Because you know why? Most of y'all forgot this. But I keep it because it's, it's my badge. Y'all ain't saying nothing. This is what it said. He come and said, he said, in Revelation 2, 21, he said, and I gave her space. I gave y'all space to repent. Huh? Of her fornication. And guess what? She repented now. A lot of y'all ain't gonna repent. Y'all, y'all, see, this mess will make you exposed. So you'll say, but I already repent. I sit there and repent. I understand that. That's what the devil is. Your dad is cunning crafty. This is what he said. He come back and talking to you, and this is what I'm talking about the preacher. That's why I said they're a bunch of cowards. Because in 1 Corinthians 1 and 10, it said, Now I beseech you, brethren. He said, I beg y'all preachers. I beg all y'all by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, That you all speak the same thing. Why they use these scriptures? And there be no division among you. Have division among us believers. He said, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Well, how do you act like I'm preaching something different? Y'all ain't talking. That's what it said. As I go to this in, in Galatians. Can I just go to Galatians? That's why I said this church is built on the truth of God, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Prove it, Apostle Simmons. It said, who gave himself for our sin, that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father. There is no other gospel. This is what he said. In the sixth verse, he said, I marvel, I marvel that you are soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. So everybody don't be around people that talk about what being preached to him with somebody was him or don't left him or still are in your ear. That's saying that we ain't preaching right. Y'all talk to me. It ain't another gospel. And everything I told you was scripture. So when somebody tell you he ain't preaching right, he shouldn't preach condemnation. He can preach this. He shouldn't preach that. He shouldn't preach conviction. Well, okay, I thought you was a German preacher. I thought it's the word that judged you. And when everybody tell me, I don't understand this, son. I don't understand this. Son. He said, there is not another gospel. Y'all ain't got to say, no, I'm preaching. I don't care what nobody say about me. I know what God called me to do. If they got a badge. It's what it said. Let me, let me get there. He said, until another gospel, he said, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you with that fooling. You hear at the church, but they talking to you on the outside. He said, there are some that trouble you because you, you got lordship to them. God can't be your lord because they your lord. You can't, you can't, you can't do it. I, I come to kick the devil in the teeth. I'm mad with that joke. This is what it said. I ain't through. He said, and would prevent the gospel of Christ. He said, but though we are in an angel from heaven, preach in it. He said, in an angel. Now, he don't put the angel in there. So you know it, it ain't another gospel. Let me finish. He said, it's in an angel from heaven. He said, they come and preach any other gospel unto you that which we have preached unto you. Let him be a curse. So that everybody don't put their mouth and talk about this church to anybody. He said, let him be a curse. How y'all gonna deal with that? 
How y'all gonna deal with that? Yeah, go, go, go talk. He always, he always put somebody in the hell. No, you put yourself in the hell. I'm gonna tell you like my daddy said, you let your mouth overload your butt back in. This is what they said. I ain't through, I ain't through. Y'all gonna clap all y'all want. I ain't through. He said, preach in the other gospel unto you. That which you have preached unto you. He said, let them be a curse. Now, this is the part I like. He said, and we say before and say I now again, if any man, he don't let the angel alone. He said, if any man talk against cornerstone preaching, let him be a curse. I know y'all ain't going to tell him you're wrong for that. I know you ain't going to tell him you're wrong for that. You're putting your mouth on something you're putting on. Y'all sit there and debate. Yeah, you know, I kind of feel like that too. I told that da- I told Daniel yesterday, you ain't tell me everything. Y'all didn't tell me everything that been said. Mm-hmm. A lot been said. You ain't said everything. And know how I know how I know? Because I, I got the spirit of God. I discern. I've been new stuff that I just ain't said nothing. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. Y'all ain't, got to sit y'all ain't got to get quiet. I said it. Y'all ain't got to answer that. I answer too. Hey, hey, look, look. I was born April 13, 1950. Ain't no, ain't nothing. I'm a grown man. Let me tell you how I grown I am. I'm 66, just like the 66 book. You can lie. You can lie. Arlene, it's all right, baby. I'm just saying a little joke. I'm just, they act like they, they, they can't laugh. God shut your mouth when something else will be funny. We are like we can't laugh at something because we're against God. I'm so mad with the devil. I ain't lying. He uses too much. He uses too much against me that they, I'm talking about people that I don't help. That I ain't did wrong to that want to not act like I'm something bad. He said, as we, as we said before, so said I say now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you, huh, yeah. then that you have received, let him be a curse. For I do not, for I do not persuade men or God, or do I speak to please man, oh, sh- them cows, them cows, they, 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 all they want to do is please them. I don't care. Look, I sleep by myself. I can ride by myself. I can eat by myself. I don't need nobody. I ain't handicapped like that. And if I need that kind of help, I got a nurse at home. And if I need some more help, hey, put me in the facility. I ain't stopped doing what God wants. I'm telling y'all. And then they're going to put me out of the ceiling because I'm going to try to save them right there. I'm going to have them sing the church song. Oh, yeah, y'all, y'all laughing. Bring your little tail out there and see why I be telling you the same thing. And they're going to switch up because you can say, Pastor's sick now, he probably weak now. Mm-hmm. Till I die. He said, do I seek to please man? For if I yet please man... I shall not be the servant of Christ. Now, I want to stop right there for a minute. So, who y'all serve when y'all please the man? Church ain't saying nothing. I don't know if I struck a nerve or what. Church ain't like they, like they ain't hear what I said. I don't, I, don't know what I, I don't know what I said. I don't know. I don't Oh no, oh no. But let me just give y'all a little because before y'all start talking. He said, in Psalm 23 and 6, he said, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Everything y'all done heard here is gonna follow y'all all the days of y'all life. Ain't that something? And I and will deliver, I, and I will deliver in the house of the Lord forever. I will live in the house of the Lord forever. He said, Ain't that something? But listen to this. It said, God told me to tell every preacher, deacon, Teacher, prophet, missionary, apostle, and bishop. I'm going to get y'all. I'm going to get y'all. 
Because y'all did something y'all didn't put to do. What they did, Pops, in Revelation 22, in Revelation uh, 22, that's what they did. What did, what did they do, Pops? He said in the 17th verse, he said, The spirit and the bride said, Come. And let him that hear say, Come. Come. All you that are heavy laden. And God said, I'll give you rest. And y'all trying to get rest with somebody. Y'all don't want God. Y'all just like them people back then. They want a natural king. This church, Cornerstone, is built on the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Y'all see it on the wall. Now, let me finish, let me finish. He said, and let him that is a thirst come. All y'all that thirst shall be filled. He said, and whosoever will, he said, whosoever will, he said, let him take the water of life freely. It's free. Why y'all ain't took it? Y'all mouth dry. Your lips white. Why y'all ain't drinking? Huh? Huh? Y'all ain't thirsty? Not for God. Not for God. This is what he said. Look what he said. He come back and said, he come back and look, he said, he said, for I testify unto every man that hear the word of the prophets of the book. I'm testifying to every man that's going to hear the prophets of the summer pre. He testifying to y'all. This is what he said. This is what he said. Don't y'all say? He said, if any man shall add unto these things, how do you private prophecy coming? They said, oh, God don't show me, but there is no private interpretation. How, do, how we, we got to be changing it. This is what he said. This is what he said. He said, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plague that is written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the word of the book, of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. Tell me once saved, always saved. I believe that you really were saved. He said, and out of the holy city and from the thing which is written in the book, he was testified these things say, surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come. Lord Jesus, he said, come. And here y'all live trying to act like God ain't coming. Jane, if any man, if any of you like wisdom, let him ask the God that give to all men liberty or, or bridle, not. It shall be given to him. Listen to this. Proverbs 1 and 7 said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Y'all don't fear. Y'all don't fear. Ain't no way y'all can keep living like y'all living here, all the stuff we hear, and act like y'all good. And go against everything leadership said. You know why y'all do that? Y'all don't believe who I am. So what you do, you congregate your own in your little revelation. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to say nothing. Listen, listen, listen to this. He said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fool despise wisdom and instruction. That means that's why he said, I give you a path out to my own heart time that will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Yeah. Don't leave you out there drifting. So y'all ain't drifting. Y'all just rejecting what God has gave y'all. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. But this church, this church, this church, Cornerstone, is built on the truth of God, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. But sin will finesse you. Yeah. It'll make you feel real good about yourself. This is what he said. He come back and start talking about Proverbs 9, uh, Nine, cha nine chapter and the ninth and ten verse. It said, give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser. Hmm. Well, a lot of y'all ain't got wiser. This is what he said. He said, give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of of the Holy One is understanding. This is what he said. He come back in John 1 and 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. He's telling you that God put this together, and now man want to do what they want to do. But God said, that ain't going to work. He said, what shall we say then? 
Shall we continue in sin that is finessing us, that grace may abound? He said, God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Right. That's why everybody's trying to get away from talking about sin because they don't want to hear because they in sin. Yeah. That's the only reason why I want to hear everything. I told, I told Job in the morning, I thank God for them. I thank God for all the preachers here because stuff that I hadn't studied, revelation that I might have, but God gave them fresh revelation, it's something that uplifts me that, boy, you better keep going. You better do this. Don't do that. He's telling me that. And then he tells me, he said, Terry, but do what you got to do. This is what I told you is emergency. You got to cry loud, spare not, lift up that boy like a trumpet, and show my people that transgression. And I've been showing y'all, God, I've been showing you your transgression, but you want to do you. He said, but that's going to come in time. I'm going to call you home. I'm going to put some of y'all on your back. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all. Y'all done came on against him too many times. And you think you're all right. He said, examine yourself. Whether you be of the faith. Whether you be in the faith. Prove your own self. Know you not your own self. How Jesus Christ is in you. Itself. Itself. He's telling himself, ain't God awesome? Yeah. He really trying to tell her what he desires. Is there another gospel? That's the problem. Is there another gospel? God is angry at sin. And he sent his son to die for sin. Yeah. And all y'all glorify that he's y'all Lord. But y'all make him the low case L, not the capital. Yeah. Except the Lord build a house. They labor in vain, that building. We ain't laboring in vain. Amen. I don't care how you say it, how you feel. Believer must speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, even to yourself. Right. How many of y'all honest with y'all self how y'all really live? How many of y'all tell yourself, boy, we, I'm living like a dog. Y'all living like a dog here in that world. I mean, you got to talk yourself like that. Man, all that word I've been getting, I'm living like a dog. I'm still doing everything I want to I ain't number, I ain't but number, I'm no good a joker. Everything I do is against God's word, and I go right back to church, and I act like it ain't nothing. I'm living, I'm living any kind of way I want to be. I don't care what the church says. I don't even care what the church says. I don't care what they believe. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to look at the Bible, and I'm going to do it how I want to do it. We got y'all in here. But hell, it's the only thing that's enlarged in self. Heaven already know y'all ain't coming. Heaven already know y'all ain't coming. You ain't got to worry about it. Heaven know you ain't coming. And these preachers out here, they study, they ain't number a bunch of cows. They study fooling, fooling everybody that it makes y'all question what you're being preached to. And everything we preach to is coming out the Bible. What I do is, if I was somewhere and listen to this, I'll write every scripture down and go back and see it's in the Bible. Y'all here know it in the Bible because you get to look at it. Y'all just choose to be rebellious. And when rebellion is the sin of witchcraft. Mm-hmm. And as I close, since don't nobody want to tell y'all who ain't going to hell, please let me have y'all ears for a few minutes. First Corinthians 6, 9, and 10, as I close, because this church is built on the truth of God. The whole truth, nothing but the truth. In other words, when I say the whole truth, nothing but the truth, we ain't taking no shortcut, we ain't deviating from nothing. And we ain't going to agonies or dating. Know you not that the ungodly shall not inherit the kingdom of God. What y'all God telling y'all? Or what y'all telling y'all? He said, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You know everybody got the other God. They can't tell me how they God want them to live. I be asking people that got the other God. I say, well, tell me how your God wants you to live. They can't tell me. I know what my God wants, but I know who ain't going to. This was, let, me, let me tell you, y'all trying to make me get it. He said, be not to see. God is not more. But whatever man saw, it just sold to the flesh, death. 
So all y'all doing what y'all family want to do, you have to receive it dealt. You ain't got to die, you already dead. Y'all ain't got to die. Y'all already dead. Y'all just walk around here dead. Need a phone to Caleb. Getting your groove on. No idolatry. I ain't gonna talk about it in the feminine. I ain't gonna talk about them. I'm gonna leave them, I'm gonna skip them long because they don't wanna hear that. No abuse of themselves with mankind. But what about them that getting dogs and stuff and cats and snakes and all that? I ain't never seen an elephant try to mess with a dog. How we so confused? And we created an image in enlightenment. That's what I'm saying. That preacher, see, that's what I'm talking about. See, that's what I don't like about him. He always talking about that. Well, somebody got to talk about it. He told me, sitting on my bed, 9101, go put Pastor Terry Silver on the Bible. I got a witness. I ain't lying. I ain't been lying in the pulpit and go to hell with y'all. Y'all ain't worth me lying to. I'm too valuable to go to hell for y'all. For a lie. But y'all better respect. All y'all ain't been respecting, y'all better respect. He said, not thieves, not covenant, not drunken, not revival, not instars, shall inherit the kingdom of God. This church, Cornerstone Abundant Life Church, is built on the truth of God. The whole truth. Nothing but the truth. And any of y'all that don't want to do the truth, hey, holler at you. Find you another church. Get your little nasty self out of here and go somewhere else and serve whoever you want to serve. We ain't